put this in. There we go. Okay. We're now writing for ROM 5. Okay, so we just burned our last EE prompt, which is ROM 5. So we have one, two, three, and four. Those ones don't matter. And then five. I don't really know if this one matters or not, if it's in this spot, but it's always in this spot. So we're just going to put it in that spot. Uh, we're going to apply a nice looking label to them. So it's not just written with a marker. Oh yeah, the last thing that we need to discuss, and we don't actually have to do anything on this particular unit, but there's these jumpers here on the H3000. Now you can see there's three green squares. And hopefully you can see there's a line, a green line between these two squares. That indicates that the middle pad is connected to the right hand pad and the left hand pad is not. And then there's three more places where this happens. There's right here. And you can see that the middle pad is connected to the left pad. There's right here where there's a solder blob connecting the middle pad and the left pad. And then down here where you can see there's some exposed uh, metal where um, the middle pad is connected to the left pad. So in order to use the uh, to, in order to access <clears throat> the upper addresses of the what were the original ROM chips, EPROMs, we have to set the jumpers appropriately. 